Greetings everyone, welcome to Chess Advance and this is a game from round 7 of Tech Mahindra Global Chess League and this is a game played between prodigies, this is a game played between Ramesh Babu Pragananda and Andreas Spenko and before I start the actual game, let me tell you, you're in for a treat because this is a phenomenal game. So without further ado, let's start with this game. As Spenko started with d4, we have knight to f6, the Indian game and we have c4 and e6 and we have bishop to f4 and we have bishop to b4 check, we have knight to d2 and just c5. And you'll mostly see this variation with the c5 move and uh, here's uh, Sipenko played something different as he goes for this capture with d captures. That's definitely not a common move. And uh, Agananda just replied with bishop captures. And after e3, we have just b6. You already have this bishop on this very beautiful diagonal. Why not get the other bishop feet kettled as well? So Sipenko just develops the other knight as well. And knight gf3 and just bishop to b7. And we have bishop to e2 preparing castles. And uh, both these castles, castles, castles. And just bishop to e7. And we have h3 not allowing any bishop jumps or knight jumps in the future. And also d6. You have to push that backward pawn. You don't want to push it to d5 just yet. And after queen to c2, we have knight b7. And after rook f d1, we have rook to c8. And just rook to c1 by Andre. And we have just b5. And after queen to b3, we have knight to c5 attacking the queen. And once the queen moves, we have b captures. And after knight captures, just bishop to d5 attacking that knight and after b4 just pushing that beautiful knight on c5 and we have knight, knight c to e4 and and here was a way to just grab a quick draw by andre just going for a move with bishop to h2 and after bishop caps on c4 we have bishop captures and after d5 just pushing the bishop back and after bishop b5 and we'll mostly see this a6 and after bishop captures we'll see a trade of rooks rook captures rook captures and just queen to b6 and after queen to a4 we'll have queen captures queen captures and just bishop captures and after rook to b1 all the pieces get traded and you'll get this end game which will mostly lead to a draw so instead of not going for a draw right away andre tries this knight a5 and we have queen to b6 by prague and just knight to d4 and after rook captures on c1 we have rook captures and just e5 might seem like you've blundered a piece but you have this knight to c6 targeting that bishop on e7 that will come with a check so Sipenko just goes for rook to e8 and just defending that bishop and we have bishop back to h2 and after bishop to f8 we have f3 just pushing that knight back and we have knight to g5 but just kick to h1 and after e4 we have f4 and here Prague just shows pure class as he goes for this phenomenal knight sacrifice with knight to f3 Yes, that's right, sacrificing an entire knight, but this knight cannot be captured. And just to show you, if you go for this G captures, you get this E captures. And after E4, you cannot capture that bishop because if you capture that bishop, just bishop cap, just bishop captures and look at this monstrosity. I mean, there's no way you're surviving this. So you have to go for this E4, but after F captures on E2, you have bishop to G1 attacking the queen and after queen to b5 you have king to h2 but just recaps on e4 i mean but just look at this position you have a weak king on h2 you have a queen which is slicing all the way here you have a pass pawn on d2 you have rook supporting it i mean you're not surviving this game so you might think what about the other way around what if i capture with the bishops if you go for this bishop captures then you get this e captures and after bishop to g1 you get this f caps on g2 first before moving the queen and after king to h2 now you go for this queen to b5 and even if you go for this knight to d4, just solidifying, attacking the queen, you have this beautiful queen to f1. And this rook is again slicing this. You have a queen on f1 with a pass pawn on g2 and a peak king on h2. White is not surviving this game for long. So instead, both players were very much low on time. And Andre instead went for this bishop to g3. But now comes another spectacular move, which is knight to h5. Attacking that, attacking that bishop. And Andre in time trouble instead went for this bishop to f2. But now... It's a lot of trouble. I'm sure you can see the tactic, but still, pause the video and try to find the absolute best move in this position for Prague. Well, I'll give you a couple of seconds. So, congratulations to everyone who's able to find this move, and the move is spectacular. This knight caps on f4. You cannot capture because your bishop on f2 would hang. So, Sipenko just went for this bishop to f1, but just knight to d2. And attacking that bishop, and after knight to d4, we have knight caps on f1. After rook capture, just knight to d3. And slowly but surely, Sipenko's position is definitely degrading. And we have b5 by Sipenko, just a hopeless try, but just a6. And after b captures, queen captures, and just queen to c3. And after rook to a8, we have just knight to b3, but just queen caps on a2. And after bishop to g3, we have queen to b2. And now the rook is going to infiltrate as well. And after queen to c7, we have bishop caps on b3. And after queen to b7, just spinning that bishop, we have rook to a2. And Sipenko tried queen caps on e4, but just knight to e5. And after rook to b1, we have rook to a1, just spinning that rook. And now you have to exchange it. So after rook caps on a1, queen caps on a1, with the check. And after king to h2, queen to a2, Sipenko just went for bishop caps on e5. But the final blow delivered by Prague, as Prague went for this bishop to d5. And it was on this move, on move 42, that Andre Sipenko resigned the game. And definitely, what a beautiful, beautiful, brilliancy by Prague in this game. Just a fearless play and that spectacular knight to f3 sacrifice just shows pure class. So yeah, thank you all for watching. I'll be coming up with another amazing game from Global Chess League. So stay tuned for that and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Thank you all.